Good afternoon, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cool map um, with data and county lines all done in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. <clears throat> so all I've done so far is I've made a map that shows all the counties. I did this just in Microsoft Excel. So here's how I did this. Now, let's delete this. Okay, I, I made a list, I just Googled this and I got a list of every county. I put that in the first column. Second column, I put the state that it's in and I left the third column open for data. All right, let's suppose we wanna put populations. Or I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this in the future to do, um, what am I saying? I'm gonna use this in the future to map where all my customers live, how many customers I have in each county, and know where to focus my my efforts and things like that. Okay. So that is all right. I'm making these numbers up, obviously, but I'm just gonna throw these in so that you can see how these would show up on the chart. All right, now when I've got that data in there. I just select the data I want to show up in the chart, which is all three columns, drag down to the last data point. I go into insert and I choose recommended charts right here. I'm gonna choose the one that's a filled map, okay? Now the first time you do this, it's gonna warn you that this is going to Bing um, to get this data and then it will kick this back. All right, so I now have a cool little map with each county in Illinois. Now, what I'm not sure about <clears throat> is I'm not sure why it's creating a, it's not telling me the name of the county on here. I thought it would do that. Let's try something. Let's delete this. Let's delete all of that. Let's just do the counties. And let's go to insert. Recommended chart. Oh, it does have, it has to have some form of data. Okay. So let me put that back in, select all these, insert recommended chart, the maps. So there you have it, I'll have to make a part two to this to figure out why it doesn't show the county names on each data point. But you'll see it ranges from 100 to 500 or 5,150,000. Or one thing I did, let's say I numbered each county. Delete, quickly number each county. One, two, three. You'll see those are the one, that's the seven. So that's Calhoun County, that's four. All the way down. And there you have it. You've got a nice little map of the counties using using a chart. I'm going to make a part two to this and figure out how I can make this more useful. But just wanted to show you how you could map out the counties using Excel in uh, Microsoft Excel. Have a great day.